I'm here today uh, next to the Nature Preserve on Bottomwood Lake Road. And I have with me Michael Tricky, professional engineer, former head of Ontario Highways Maintenance. Michael, can you tell me a little bit about what's happening with the road here? You can see that the road has been uh, sur resurfaced or had a microsurface or a sort of a grading patch put on it a while ago and it is no longer holding. Fall apart. In the next three years you're going to see this thing really fall apart. If you hit it now with a resurface, maybe mill this in. You haven't lost the base yet. Starting to with the water getting in. You can see that through the running. If you do it now, you can save yourself a tremendous amount of money from reconstructing it in about uh, three to five years from now. Now we're on Chase Road next to Monte Carlo. We're going to look at some transverse cracking, an example of which is here. Michael, can you explain to me what's happening with this cracking? This, this first crack here, this, this short one, is a really great example of how a transverse crack is going to start happening on roads. They start out very innocently, and then if you look at this one here, they're starting, uh, you'll get parallel uh, transverse cracks. The transverse crack is one that goes across the road. You see you've tried to uh, patch it here, but of course the cracks just reflect through. And there's a couple examples just further down to go to, and I'll show you what happens after that. So we're about 50 yards down the road, 50 meters down the road, and here's another transverse crack. So you recall the one up that was, was, was treated. This one you can see a little bit of treatment too. It didn't take, the cracks continue to reflect through, and now what you've got is accelerated alligator cracking to the point where pieces of material are actually coming out. You're losing the base, the water's in. Frost heave now is really accelerating the deterioration of the base, so you really uh, you, you don't want to lose surface and you don't want to lose the base. Losing the base costs a lot more. Well, Michael, we're in front of City Hall looking at some similar road failure to what we just saw. How much of the district roadway is in similar condition? Well, from the Field inspections we've done, there's about 30% of the roads really need some type of renewal or sealing right away. This isn't as bad as some we've seen, but it's intermittent all the way down. And now's the right time to do it. So I would say about 30% are past where I would be trying to repair the surface and protect the base.